So for this example, we have a shaft with constant diameter equal to 50 millimeters. We also given the modulus of um, the GGT of the shaft, which is equal to 28 uh, gigapascals. So on the shaft, attach our gears A, B, and C, and D with the magnitude and direction of um, the torques for each gear also given also the dimensions from 8 b c and d 2 meters 3 meters and 2 meters so for this problem we're asked to find the um, angular twist of um, gear d relative to a and so um, for a complete detailed presentation of the problem just refer to the description of the video so in this problem since we are asked to find the angular twist here but considering all the torques um, and A, B, C, we'll have to sum, all, sum up the angle of twists in these segments to find the resulting angle of twist in uh, gear D. So, solution, we have the equation for the angle of twist, which is TL over JG. And then you'll have the angle of twist from D relative to A is equal to the summation of the angle of twist from A to D so J and G are constant so we can take them out summation of TL from A to D so that's our working equation to solve the problem so we'll have um, D so we have 1 over JG we have TL AB plus we have TL BC plus TL CD okay so how do we get the torque this is given this is given all the lengths are given only the torques AB torques uh, BC and torques CD are not given so these are internal moments by the way not the torques given on the gears so since we'll be <coughs> evaluating the angle of twist on D so relative to here from here we'll have to get the torques on these segments now considering the torques given on the right uh, right portion of the right side so first we'll have uh, this segment we'll consider the right portion we'll have a resisting um, moment here which is equal to TA that's uh, TAB in this portion we'll also consider the right side we will have a resisting moment here which is uh, on this, uh, the other direction we can call this a T B C and if you consider this one you will have also on this direction you will have T C D if you if, if, if um, you are having a hard time imagining this um, illustration you can also do this you know, have a um, straight line and then this one is A you have B, you have C, and then you have the D. So, at um, A, you will have a moment which is uh, denoted by two arrows, which is 600. At uh, point B, you will have the op um, opposite direction. We will have 900. This is 600. And then you have at C, you have the direction same with the uh, a which is uh, 1100 and at d you will have opposite direction which is 800 then cut section you can see that this one you cut section you can see that one this portion cut section you can see this one so you will have the angle of twist of d relative to this uh, portion from a to this uh, segment so Okay, we will evaluate this one. So we'll have J equals pi over 32. This is uh, 50 uh, to the fourth. And then we have the G, which is 28 times 10 to the 3 Newton per m square. This is a uh, mm4. And then we will have the TA, a uh, TLAB, TLBC, and TLCD. So. Torque AB by inspection, you can have 600, which is positive. 600, and then you have BC by inspection, you will have 
negative 300 which is uh, directed to the negative x um, so torque CD you will have positive 800 so that's how we get the torques huh? the segments so we have torque AB 600 times the distance is 2 we have minus 300 the distance is 3 L plus we have 800 the distance is 2 meters so we can since uh, this is in Newton meters uh, we will convert the meters into so we'll have Newton meter here we also have meters this is Newton meter meter Newton meter meter so we'll have to convert uh, 1 meter 1000 mm square so cancel 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 this one cancels out with the this one and this one and we'll have the theta dA which is equal to 0 0.1106 regions so we just have to evaluate this then convert and then also evaluate the denominator and then divide you can also plug in this to your calculator and then you can let the calculators evaluate this, uh, this equation and then you'll have this one in radians if you want in degrees you'll have 6.34 degrees so again you just have to convert no? 11606 times you'll have pi 180 degrees this will result to this one so that's it no? that's how you get the um, angle of twist from specific point relative to other points in the along the length of the shaft so just a summation and then that's it so just try to evaluate this and uh, check no? if these uh, answers are correct no? just to confirm the numbers